up, family? It's Chris. And it's Big Call. And you're watching Bad Eyesight TV. Alright, guys. We have another request for you today. And it came from... Fucking... Arthur Sprong said, Bert Kreischer is an amazing storyteller. You should look up some Theo Vaughn clips. Also, a stand-up comedian and a great storyteller. Hope you'll enjoy it. I don't know what that last part is. And was. that's what we searched up. We was Theo Vaughn. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, we searched up his videos, and we got to this video that's titled Thundercat. And I guess we're going to see what's going on. But before we get into the video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Comment down below if you guys like to see next. Hit that notification button to get notification when we upload and subscribe to join the family. Now let's get into the video. We had a dude in our town. Uh, this boy named Thundercat. Yeah, TJ was his name. Yeah, I don't know what the J stood for, but... When the T stands for Thundercat, who gives a fuck with the J stands for? <laughs> but while you're behind, you're a little wildflower, you know? And, uh, he was born with some deficiencies. Um, he had extra salivary glands in his face, you know? So when he would get to smiling or feeling real joyous, he would spray out the sides of his mouth. So he had to keep a cloth on him, you know, dry him up at the corners of his mouth. You know? That's friendship. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, the devil got him twice. Yeah. Because he had hair growing directly out of his face, you know? Just, you know? Much hair as you could think of, just, you know? Man, y'all ain't thinking about enough fucking hair, dude. Okay? I can feel when people are thinking about the right amount of hair. I ain't feeling that shit right now. The sisters used to cornrow his cheeks in the summer. You got enough hair to cornrow your cheeks? That's a mess. Mm, I do better. Was he the Grinch? Something that shouldn't be existing. <laughs> he was looking at really from the heat. And he used to cut out around his eyes for the holidays so he could see his gifts. Okay? <laughs> so that much hair. And when somebody one day yelled out, He's gonna die! And they said that in church. And in a small town, that's, that's a fucking doctor's opinion. You know? <laughs> So this boy Thunder, dude, Thunder got to quit school at 11 so he could die at home. Yeah, because you can't die at school, bro. They don't want all of that shit, you know? They say they're all about equality and everything, but they don't want you fucking dying on the premises. And, uh, and he got to quit school, right? His parents let him smoke so he could live a little bit while he was dying. So he'd be in a fucking yard just blowing Winston. <laughs> Dying, you just do whatever you want, basically. Just acting crazy. Right, now you smoking. Acting crazy. Oh man. They bought him a truck, dude. A man's truck, an adult man's truck, a Ford Ranger, okay? It was the first one that he had, like a little bitty man's truck, right? It looked like there was a really a tougher man in the distance with a remote control controlling it. And they welded it, dude, to a pole in his front yard. They fucking welded this truck, a real truck, to a fucking real pole cemented into the ground. And he could drive as fast as he wanted in his fucking yard, dude. And it was about, probably just about five feet between him and the pole, dude. So he would just be in a tight spiral, bro. Just doing like 70 miles an hour, bro. Just fucking blowing the rinse, this baby just... Just listening to Fuji's and Blind Melon, baby, just no rain, baby, just no rain. And he never did die, dude. He's 35 years old now. So they just got bad information on him, praise God. So he was just acting crazy for no reason. He just had all that extra unnecessary stuff for nothing. Now you 35. Like, man, wasn't he supposed to have been dead? And, uh, yeah, and his mother, she, uh, she had varicose veins in her neck, and they both, they blew out, and she died. Yeah. And the daddy, this is how they made money. The daddy used to do slipping balls at Pizza Hut. And this is back when Pizza Hut was flexing, bruh, you know? 
Dude, he's too slipping for all the pizza huts and he would sue him and get that money. And he was working the circuit one year and uh, in the southeast region and he died, dude. He fucking split his head open on a salad bar outside of Sarasota. So that family fucking dies, dude. We be dying! They fucking die. So, but yeah, man, I'll never forget that shit, man. Just watching that dude drive around in a fucking circle in his yard. Crazy, and the truck started digging a hole into the fucking yard, dude. So he was... He, the our irony was, he was probably nine feet under and never did. It's a day in the video, guys. If you would like to do the original video by yourself, the link will be down in the description below, and so is our social media. Add us, follow us. You guys already know the deal, but since this is the video, oh, since this is the end of the video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Comment down below what you guys would like to see next. Hit that notification bell to get notification when we upload, and subscribe to join the family. See you guys in the next video.